welcome back to another video um i mentioned in the previous video that previous video was about said multi-cycle but at the end i decided not to because the so, uh, the other topic was taking a little bit longer so this time promise i will discuss said multi-cycle path and you can see i have it right there so before that <clears throat> let's look into uh, this part only focus here so you have a clock coming in it has um, buffers or it has a clock tree built not showing the entire segment of it and then you have a flip-flop one um, if there is a launch there's a path from here goes through some combination of circuits and and or whatever I'm just just representing that with the cloud and then you have FF2 now the timing what is the timing timing is set up and hold right so you have this this waveform this clock pin is is really the the hair and this one captured is here assuming they're very ideal clock um, and the both reaches remain the same time okay so set up look at the waveforms understanding your setup time launch and capture edges the same thing for hold is super important and this waveform will give you an idea so we are looking into required time or required edges for both setup and hold so when a data is launched on this positive edge right for setup for single cycle timing this data that you launch here will be captured here on the next cycle the rise edge the next rise edge so this green line is what setup time I mean required time for setup <clears throat> I'm not saying that setup time of this flip-flop there will be small not, not that one okay the required time is from this edge to this edge of course this will have minus setup um, and I'm not looking into arrival time so what about hold well hold what you want to make sure is what you launched here right is and this path through this the what you launch here and then it goes through this combination is not super fast that actually data start capturing this on this edge this edge should be capturing the data that was launched previously make sense again on every edge, let's say launch edge this. For setup, you want to capture on the next one. For hold, you want to make sure that what you launch here is not actually captured here. It's long enough that this edge already um, passes. So there is no way for this data that's launched here is actually captured here. So in other words, you want to maximum delay and the minimum delay through data path is what you're checking so this orange line is for hold make sense and now let's say on this particular flop our architect our designer our rtl person tells us that actually <clears throat> the data that i'm launching here i'm not going to capture it that is functional wise uh, until this edge what data I launch here I actually have I will allow two cycle I will not capture on this one but I'll capture on the next one that means you have now more time available and this type of constraint is now an exception because this is not a normal thing right? normally you have single cycle now we are saying this can be launch here and capture here this one okay this will be launched here and captured here so how to mention that exception to the physical design implementation or verification tool and this is the command used for that so what you do is set underscore multi-cycle underscore path um, and you mention dash setup to from where you have to be very specific with these exceptions try to avoid very generic one for example unless you are 
um hundred percent sure you you should mention only specific specific means you giving it this clock pin from and this d pin too but if you know that it is generally between two big clocks then you say from the clock to the clock but generally exceptions need to be written very carefully and need to be very targeted because they will override the default time what you want don't want to do is somewhere you have this timing and you overridden with setup two you got an extra cycle so when you execute this exception two will update timing and now it's it will move its setup time from here to here Ideally, I should have a timing report doing that, but I thought I will be able to generate something, but I don't have it right now. Anyway, maybe later on when we open, the, we'll look into um, some of the <clears throat> labs uh, with open source tools uh, or some other tools. That's where we will look into that. All right, so that one is done. But what about hold? Okay. Whenever you move a setup required edge, unless you mention something with the hold, by default tool will move the hold edge by a cycle too. So you can see that by default setup is one. In order to get another one, you don't say it's setup one because there is already one. So you say setup two in order to get another time, another cycle. So this additional cycle you got with this value two. But when you move setup here, two will move this hold from here to here. Now it will say the data that is launched here, make sure that it's, um, it's not captured before this. That can be a catastrophic because there's a lot of delay now. But some, but what the RTL guy tells you, no, it's okay. Uh, we're not going to capture on this one anyway. So you can keep your whole relationship with respect to this edge. Because there is, even if we capture, it's not a, going to be a problem. We will ignore that capture. We will only worry about this one. Right? So kind of design ensure this doesn't happen. So what you need to make sure you check across this one. Yeah, it's not that fast enough to be on that edge, but not worry about that. Design person has allowed you that, okay, no problem. So what you do is then you execute this command, so multi-cycle power dash hold one. Hold is always a zero. So hold one, you move the end. And by default, okay, this is something maybe in another video right now i didn't mention move the end edge or the launch edge you can move either edges but in this example if you see setup i'm moving the capture edge from here to here similarly i'm moving the whole edge the end one here here but this is relative now sorry i'm confusing you but i can also say uh, actually let's not let let me not say that. Let's not confuse you. Okay. So with dash hold one, so it will move from here to here or hold here, here. So eventually whenever you do a setup MCP, okay, this is MCP. Multi-cycle path. So this is typically where we say, okay, have you applied MCP or not? What is the MCP? Who will, who's going to provide you MCP? Whenever you write an MCP for setup, if you really want to move hold back, you need to write and with one less number of hold and the same MCP rest. And these two need to be go together. So people sometimes they keep writing for this one, this one, because they don't check for hold. They check for hold pretty late in the design. And when they look at hold, it's all messy. And then they don't know which exception has moved that edge. So whenever you you create an MCP for setup, you need to think of hold right at that spot, even if you're not checking hold at that moment. That's a very important learning. Uh, don't forget about that. I think that's that's it. Yes, that's it. So in the next video, we will start looking into same timing relationship, but now we will look into what if clock here is a one frequency and clock here is another frequency that will complicate it a little bit all right think uh, yeah see you next time